full time from Hampden Park, Scotland 2, Spain 0. Or should I say, Scotia 2, España 0. And yes. Yes, yes, yes. And there's another Scotland and in Scotland video. And by the way, guys, I am rocking Scotland's Euro 96 kit. And, um, and yes, I am just, and yes, I am just pure delighted to Scot for Scotland because I'm going to get straight into my thoughts on the game. Um, Scotland, just pure fantastic. Um, they deserved the win. They um, they were the better team, and overall, they just pu pu pulled <laughs> a fantastic performance against a very good Spanish side. Well, yes, if you look at the eleven on paper, if you look at history wise, Scot Spain have actually had the better record in Scotland. But however, though. Um, Scotland, they've obviously been absolutely fantastic. And um, two from two for Scotland. And you know what? I feel like there's something... I feel like there's something special going on in, going on with Scotland. Because you look at it, qualified for the Euros, qualified just for Euro 2020, got a draw against England after a very spirited performance at Wembley, which, to be fair, as an England fan, Scotland should have beaten us. Narrowly just sad, sadly missing out on the World Cup um, to Ukraine. And look at that. They even could even beat Spain at Hampden Park. Uh, it's, it's, just pure it's just pure madness to think that a team like Scotland can do that to Spain. It's just incredible. It really is, Jeff. The hero of the mark, Scott McSauce. Or Scott McTominay. He's loving the international break. Four goals in two games. Who the fuck that? Even from a Scotland midfielder, let alone a Scotland striker. That is just fantastic to think. Um, and yeah, yeah. Um, and also, I also want to do this video because the Spain national team should be ashamed of themselves. Because if you look at that, how many diving that they've done in the first half, right? So say like, I'm just ah ah ref referee ref ref. That's a red card. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. And you know what I mean, like the amount of whinging, the amount of diving, and the amount of complaints that they have, and the childish at the childish attitude on the pitch. It's just nothing but it was just pure disgusting, disgusting from Spain. It really was. And the attitude and the passion and the fight was nothing but pure shocking. Absolute shocking. 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 It really is. It really is. It really is. Um, and, oh, God, man. No wonder why I support. No wonder why I support Portugal. Portugal these days, other than Spain. Ugh, ugh. You know what, right? You know what? I feel like Scotland, they're on six points, and if they beat Norway, Georgia, and even Cyprus, so that will put on nine, 12. So if they beat Norway, 12, nine, Georgia, 12. 15 points from five games. So technically, Scotland have already qualified without like with like five or something games left, with that that many games left. So if Scotland win the next three games, they're all but qualified. They're qualified. Even if they can get yes, even if they, they could lose to Spain in in like Madrid, in Madrid or Barcelona, for example, right? But they'll still qualify anyway because they're a good start. It just shows how the fight and the encouragement from Scotland is just pure incredible. And yeah, my man of the match, I'm going to give it to McTominay because I think McTominay has been absolutely fantastic. He was fantastic tonight as well. And the Scotland team, were, the whole team was fantastic from Angus Gunn all the way to Lyndon Dykes. 
they've been brilliant. And to be fair, Scotland should have won by more. Um, but yeah, Hamden Park. Scotland fans, enjoy your night. Enjoy your night. You deserve it. Won the Tartan Army. And yes, I'm an Eng I'm English, but I'm half Scottish as well, so I'm 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 also a bit of Scotland fan as well. But yeah, won the won the Tartan Army, by the way. Ah, thank you all for watching this video, Scotland fans. Please smash the like, and if you're not new to the channel, please subscribe if you're new. And I'm trying to get to 600, 600 subscribers before the tournament itself commences next summer. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and love, peace, and take care.